Paul? I'm sorry, Jennifer. I am so sorry. Oh, for what? I, were you expecting someone? The door was open. No. I hope not. I... Well, is somebody here? Because I heard you talking. He's gone. Who? Craig? I heard you say his name. I saw Craig. You saw Craig? He was in the mirror. Just now, he was he was laughing at me. You were asleep, okay? It was just a dream. No, I woke up, and then I saw him, and he was laughing at me because he won. He won? What are you talking well, about? Well, he hurt you, and then and then they locked him up, so I hurt you. So you can see, we're the same. Craig and I, we're the... No. I'm worse. I'm worse than Craig. I couldn't live with myself if he hurt you, you know? I, I love you so much, and I, I just... I wouldn't be able to live with myself. I could never forgive myself if he hurt you, so I have to stop him. I'm... I am fine, okay? Really, you don't need to worry. No, you're not fine, and you're not gonna be okay until I fix everything. Okay, Paul, you're not making any sense. That's because you don't understand, but... Well, how could you really? I mean, you, you trust me. Of course I trust you. Hey, you're my brother. I love you. And um, today at the cemetery, you were wonderful to me. Just gentle and loving. I... I have to move on. I have to s grieve my son and move on. Now you see, that's it. That's it. That's just the thing. Jennifer, you don't need to grieve anymore. Your life is over. Well, but it's... No, but it's not over. I know that now. I, I mean, there... I know that there has to be a reason for this. And maybe it's that I'm not supposed to have children. No, Jennifer, no, that's no, not all it. All I'm saying is that there has to be some reason. There is. I'm the reason. I'm the reason that you lost your son. Paul? It's okay. It's really, it's okay. I have to tell her. I, I thought you would... I thought you'd be asleep. I gave him a sleeping pill a little while ago. Oh, well that explains it. I, I, I walked in here and he was, he was talking to the mirror. He said he saw Craig's face. Yeah, he... He was laughing because he won. You were not Craig. You are not Craig. You are a kind, loving man. You're just exhausted, I, honey. Yeah, and I was trying to get him to go back. Can't do this anymore, you know. I can't. I had this terrible dream. Jennifer found out and she hated me. Hey, no. I could never hate you. I love you. Okay, today at the center, I, I, I came over to thank you for being so good to me there. And, and also, to talk to you about maybe going back to work together, but we can discuss that later, okay? You hear your sister? Listen to her, she's doing great. She's talking about going back to work. You you need to go back to sleep, okay? No, I, I'm just going to tell her. No, no, Jennifer, can you do me a favor and just go to the kitchen and get me a glass of water for him? Maybe we should call a doctor. No, no, he's fine. Just the water, Jennifer. Thank you. Sit. I'm... Listen to me. Listen to me. You cannot do this. I have to tell her. Not now. Not like this, not when you're so upset. She thinks that her son is dead. It's okay. I mean, she's... She's learning to live with it. Look at her. She's doing great. She's talking about going back to work, which no. means she's moving forward. This is wrong. He's her son. He's Craig's son. He did this. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm completely the same. Listen, listen, Paul, which is why you have to listen to me. You're okay, you're exhausted, you're having a bad reaction to a sleeping pill, that's all. Please, just lay down, try to lay down and get some sleep, okay? How's he doing? Uh, much better, I think. Aren't you, Paul? Jennifer, I'm really sorry. When you came in here, I was half asleep. 
Can you imagine looking in the mirror and seeing Craig look back at you? <laughs> wow. It's just not right. And I, and I didn't realize how much this was affecting you. You know, he was your nephew. It's all just so sad. You see, that's why we need to focus on the positive. All of us, we, we have each other. We have tomorrow, a fresh start tomorrow. Yeah. So I will call you tomorrow, okay? You call me if you need me. Oh, of course. Okay. Thank you so much oh, for taking care mm. of him. Get him safe. You see? It's over. Paul, you did the right thing. It'll never be over. If you tell Jennifer what we've done, not only will you lose her, you will lose me, we will lose each other. No, I, I would never implicate you. You wouldn't have to. My hands are all over this. We go to jail. Jail? Paul, we destroyed evidence. It hindered an investigation. I mean, Hal would personally crucify us. And at the very least, I would lose custody of my son. And you would lose Jennifer and Will. And me. We would not survive the fallout. Not after everything you've been through. Thank you. <laughs> For what? No thanks. You're talking me off the ledge. I don't want to lose Jennifer. I don't want to lose you. So starting tomorrow, I'll do whatever it is I have to do to make sure Jennifer's okay. Okay. So you think you can sleep now? Oh, definitely. You've completely worn me out. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Okay, so you're gonna get the lights, right? No, you no, go ahead. Yeah, okay. Come on, let's take this bird inside. Ugh. Come on, let's go. I can do this. I can make this work. <laughs>